How are you Jack Whackers doing? <clears throat> Welcome to the Late Night Show. We're going to try to uh, start up episode three of the survival farming series on Spectacle Island map. So welcome everybody. We got a few things we're gonna do to make some money. I made me a little list because it's not a big list because we don't own a lot. So uh, let's get started. We're gonna sell some eggs and these eggs are actually worth quite a lot of money. So uh, it'll be fun. The main objective is to save up money to buy a harvester so we can actually uh, harvest the field we planted last week. <laughs> What's up, Adam Winger? David Lawton says, how are you tonight? I'm doing well. What's up, Fire Slam? Dwayne Baker, Mr. Glickman in the house. All right, so before we, yeah, I'll show you. We'll load up those first. I did repair the truck. I got the body all body work all fixed it didn't really cost a whole lot but the truck's looking pretty good all right so let's get to it let's load up those eggs and we're gonna take them over to granny's island because that's where it gets the most profit up eddie london cameron mcclintock andrew bedard albert paulo in the house what's going on guys welcome to the late night show Let's load these up. I'm gonna put them right on the tail here. We don't have many boxes yet. All I did was fast forward time until the crops were ready to harvest. So that's the only thing I've done since uh, the last time you guys watched the stream. Go. Strap down those boxes. We are ready to head over to Granny's farm down on the island. Take a peek at what our field looks like. This is the big field we uh, plowed and planted on last week's episode two. So it is fully grown. How do you lock that? Not too shabby, eh? Not bad at all. So what did we plant here? Soybeans. We figured out that soybeans was the most profitable uh, plant in the area at the time. So yeah, it's looking good. We don't own any fertilizing, so we weren't able to fertilize the field. Kind of sucks, but uh, we are going to get this field over here planted tonight. So I'm actually going to pull over and go hop into that. It's kind of spawn over to where that is right over here somewhere all right so we're gonna hop into the white farm tractor and hook up to the planner what's up master deadpool tyler eckermint what's going on man that's a sharp looking forward you like that dave <laughs> All right, so we already filled this up with fuel, washed it. Everything's clean and, you know, good to go. We've got this full of soybeans. We're going to run this out to that field. This farm's come a long way since uh, episode one. We've cleaned the whole place up. We got rid of all the trash. So it's starting to look like a, sorta, like a tidy farm, right? What's up, Jason Holman? Dwayne says, glad to see you on Jack Wacka. That's right. Yeah, I'll be honest. I didn't care for the, the motorcycle mechanic simulator. I was hoping it would be better. I mean, maybe they'll fix it up and make it better, but eh, I wasn't too impressed. I must say, was not too impressed. I'm gonna do a perimeter 
I'm just going to go around the whole field once on the perimeter and then hire a worker to see how they do. So let's get this unfolded. What's up, Tyler Nar? All right, so for the second crop, I don't know if I want to do soybeans again. We got a whole field of soybean. I'm thinking maybe maybe some canola. This canola pays pretty darn good too to the bakery, the cargo ship, and the warehouse. So canola is definitely something we can make some money on. I'm not going to do sunflower or corn because I don't have, I don't plan on getting that type of header. I'm going to get a header that can handle the soybeans. So yeah, let's do some canola. Right there. And then like I said, we'll do a perimeter plant. Then we'll hire a worker to do the rest while we go take care of business. All right, to get to work. Get that cruise control on and get it done. I'm doing good, Bruce Keen. How you doing, man? You didn't much care for it either. Yeah, it's just car mechanics much better in my opinion. I'm doing all right, Andrew Bedard. Michael Glickman coming in with the Canadian ice cream can. I was digging for ice cream in my fri my freezer today, and it was all gone. Kids ate it all. It was a very sad moment. Thank you, Michael Glickman. Appreciate it, brother. And uh, Mr. Glickman, today when I had a little free time, I was practicing on the big uh, the big Airbus. I flew the Airbus from. Uh, Charleston to Myrtle Beach just for a little practice run because I got new joy I got my new uh, joysticks that I didn't have last time I played flight sim so I'm using the the Thrustmaster now and it was fun not bad not bad the landing was not that great but I did land so that's all I can say about that but I do plan to do some flight sim on Facebook sometime this week. Not sure what day yet. Maybe Tuesday. It's probably going to be Tuesday or Thursday, one or the other. Some landing challenges. That, I don't know, sir. I'm going to hire someone right about and uh, Let's try to straighten out first. I want to get a straight line. Actually, that's not bad. If I line that up right like that, that'll cover that whole swipe. Hope all is well with you and your family, Frosty. Did you have a good weekend? I did, Trevor. Damon Harmon says, did you land it like Riot, crashing it into the ground? No, I just, I'm not good with the huge commercial airplanes, but I want to get better at it. All right, Dwayne. Nice. I'll let Dwayne do it. Better do a good job, though. So doing that perimeter makes it easier on your hired worker to turn around and so hopefully, maybe we should have done two laps, but that should be good enough. Let's just make sure he can handle that turn. And should be fine. There's old Dwayne. Getting to work. Don't mess up, Dwayne. That's right. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. And like I said before, you can share a YouTube stream, just like on Facebook. You'll see a share button. If you want to share it to your personal profile on Facebook or anywhere else you might want to share it, uh, that can help get some new viewers in here. You never know. Get this late night community growing. All right, so. I think. 
we will head over to Granny's little cabin. I just got to find out where that is again. All right, so we... Where's Granny's cat? Granny's Island. We're going to tag it. I think it's over... That's way over there. All right, I went the wrong way. We got to turn around here. All right, let's go to Granny's Island and let Dwayne keep working on that. David Burns, I'm doing good, man. How you doing? Thank you, Dwayne. I appreciate you, buddy. Good evening, Chris Minchenberg. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. There's a stump to find. Frosty will find it. Peace. All right, so Granny's Island. The heck, that's way over there. Taking these dangerous roads to get to Granny's Island, eh? So we haven't been here since last week. Like I said, I haven't done it. All, the only thing I did was fast forward time until that field we planted grew. That, that was about it. And I repaired this pickup, and I repaired, pretty much repaired all the equipment we own. I want it to be all in tip-top shape. That's about all I did. All right, what's going to be the best way to get to Granny's house? I think it's down this road. Anything for an amazing style? Wayne. Stop it. Make me blush. Peace. All right, we got a little road work going on up there. The Granny's Island. Let's see, Granny's Island. How am I getting over there? I don't know if we can drive over there. Do I have to walk these eggs over? You son of a biscuit. I think we gotta walk those eggs over, chat. <laughs> walk them over is what I'll do. Taking some eggs to grandma's house. Not that far of a walk. All right, where's the cell point at? Oh, Grandma, I have some eggs for you. <gasps> oh, I found some gold. I found gold, chat. Can't beat that. I found some gold. So that was worth going to Granny's house. All right, so but my question is, where do you sell? the eggs it says granny's house is a place to sell eggs i don't see a sell point um acting like it's right around here somewhere anybody know in the house i'm not a big fan of those small bridges is the cell point in here? <clears throat> uh, where's my spectacle island people at? How do I sell this? to find a place to sell it. The heck? Uh, 
on the table. Oh, yep, you're right, right, right on the table. 643 bucks. Yep, I didn't even see that little see that little yellow square everybody. There it is. Well, I'll be darn. All right, so now we get to we got we got a little backhaul. Take this across the bridge. He got some gold blocks. Yes, we did. Very nice. We'll drop that there. Let's grab another box of eggs. Yeah, I didn't even see that little box on the table, the cell, cell box. $425. So the eggs aren't really bringing in a whole lot of money. <laughs> but hey, it's better than nothing, right? Stealing gold from Granny. I think Granny put that there for me to find. This is a very nice gift. There are 25 in total. Gold. Yeah, I think we've only found like four. I don't know. I don't even look for them. If I stumble across it, then hip, hip, hooray. Other than that, I don't even know. All right, 643 for that box. And we got one more box to sell. Shame on you for taking Granny's gold. Granny doesn't need it. She's, she's not going to be around for much longer. She'll be fine. Peace. Because they're too sensitive. <laughs> All right, last box. Then we'll run that gold <clears throat> over. Ooh. The gold mine. All right, goodbye, Granny. Nice doing business with you. See ya. Must be out. She must be out floating in the inner tube out in the out in the ocean there somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's not forget to strap down our gold block. And off we go. All right, now we're gonna run this gold block over to the uh, gold mine. And we'll see if Dwayne's almost done planting that field. What's up, Tony? Kristoff in the house. Now there's grass growing in the back of that truck, says Dave. It, it's gone. check you know what I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna multitask here we're gonna buy a pallet And all this dead wood I keep driving by, might as well turn it into a profit, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. That's all right. We still got wood back on our own property that needs chopped up. So this uh, pallet will come in use. We're all about chopping that wood. What's up, Nathan Fiend? How are you guys? I was off work for nine days for vacation. I don't want to go back. I know, I, I know. There's nothing worse than having a nice vacation and then knowing you got to go right back to work. <laughs> I feel you, brother. Oh, Dwayne's kicking butt over there. Look at that. He's almost done. Good job, Dwayne. I knew you could do it. I knew you had it in you. 
All right, before we go sell the gold, I still got wood that needs chopped up. Too big, of course. That, that dead wood. I don't like the dead wood. Is that a... It's another one of those dead woods, huh? Yeah. Hang it. those happy chickens so the chickens brought us in a little bit of money not a whole lot but something you're a professional harvester don't forget the stump you hit oh yeah you're right that would have been good to use I think we cut all the trees we own, dang it. Oh, we own this tree right here. We're going to be in Dwayne's way, but I don't care. We're about to get in your way, Dwayne. I'm going to cut it down and then drag it over here. To the hurdy gurdy. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta fix this before Dwayne gets mad at me. Nope, didn't mean to hit that. Uh, let's put super strength on. Now I can get this tree out of his way. He can do what he's got to do. We'll lay this right next to our pickup truck. Actually, let's go hit that stump first. Because Dwayne will probably run into it. <laughs> All right, where's that big old stump at? There it is. Come on, come on. Trying to find that sweet spot. Goodness. There we go. That might be good enough to, uh, Use the axe on it now. Yep. Nope. Ooh, we're having issues here. Like the cell point on Slovak. <laughs> oh, wow. Come on. Peace. I don't get it. Dwayne, just try not to hit that stump, all right? All right, let's get to trimming. We got lots of trimming to do right here.
My goodness. Not cooperating, is it? Chainsaw will kick your butt. Not very fun to use. to be not working too hot. What's up, Mr. Turner? Located three in the house. What's up, located? Come on. Holy moly. I don't know, guys. We're not having much luck, are we? Jeez, there you go. Sweet spots are ridiculous. It's abrogating me, and I'm not even playing. <laughs> All good, mate. Home from work and ready to spend the next two days off. Nice. I know you're excited. Nothing beats a little time at home. Yeah, this wood cutting mod has some uh, very picky. to axe, axe and away. Uh, Dwayne finished his job. Yep, he finished his job. Very nice. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Dang, that only took him what? Like 15 minutes? Yeah, he's shabby, Lottie. Running miles will have you in the background. Thanks, located. Feel like I'm watching your cut down the same tree as last stream with that axe. <laughs> All right, we will have to cut this into some pieces here. This thing's huge. Big one right there. Yep, let's cut it again. It's a very f relaxing mod when it works correctly. That's all I got to say. Thank you. 
Come on, baby. Still saying it's too big. Please. Is it better to cut it up or to tow the big tree parts? Well, f for what I'm using this mod, you gotta cut it up because it puts it in this pallet and then you can sell the pallet, which is pretty cool. So yeah, you gotta cut it up. What's up, Billy Kent? Trevor Parks in the house. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Late Knot Show. Just doing some, uh, we're on episode three of the survival farming series. So hope you guys are enjoying it. We sold some eggs to Granny's Island. We had Dwayne plant this field here with uh, canola. And now we're just trying to clean up this tree. I'm not going to do m many trees tonight. I'm only doing this because it was in the way of uh, the field anyway. <clears throat> But I had enough uh, wood cutting on the last episode. <laughs> all right, let's chop it all up. Dude, the birds like the seed. Gosh. Fields covered with birds. What's up, Josh Stearman? What's going on, man? How's that not big enough or small enough? All right, last cut. <clears throat> All right, that was about a full pallet too. Look at that. Beautiful. We're gonna go sell this right next door over there where we got those shacks that hold the wood, fresh firewood. And this ought to bring in a nice chunk of money. Then we'll s go sell the uh, gold to the gold mine. $8,073, come on, bud. Good stuff right there. All right, so now we're going to run over to... Oh, crap. What did I just run into? Wow, I hit something hard enough to uh, get my truck stuck. What the heck? You're kidding me. I'm literally stuck. I got stuck in the bush. There we go. <laughs> Didn't know the tow the big stuff on the trailer and make some money. I'm playing farm night 17, says Jeremy. Didn't know. Didn't you tow the big stuff on the trailer and make some money? Yeah, that was, yeah. That's when you can take it all the way over to the, uh, whatchamacallit for the sawmill. But you make a little more money doing it this way. It takes more time, but you get paid more, so it's kind of worth it. And we still got our ship that ran out of fuel sitting over here. <laughs> oh, what was that? What's a cone doing out here? If I could sell that. I want to sell everything I can. <laughs> uh, this map looks cool. The only thing that drove me away was the fact that there were all the trees in the field. You're right. Part of me didn't like cutting that post down either. Part of me wanted to do it the right way. But at the same time, can you imagine how rough that would be to watch? 
but yeah, I know what you mean. And I don't like this part either. Driving through the... I, that's just dumb. Just my opinion, though. <laughs> All right, let's uh, head up here and sell this gold block. Slap it on there. We got $10,294 to our name. Let's see how much that gives us. Shabang! We got $25,597 now. We're getting there, chat. Head on back down here. Adam Grove says, hey, Frosty. And Locate says, wait! What? Wait. What happened? What's the question marks for? You okay, Located? Is everything all right? The gold block he stole from Granny. Shh. Don't tell anybody about that. Don't need to tell anybody about Granny's gold block, all right? She left that for me. Yeah, I don't know if... I mean, I'll try. You can try to run some of this stuff over to the sawmill. sitting here already right in front of us. Might as well go try to sell it, right? Sawmill's right down the road. Not too far from where we're at. Never mind. Scratch that paint says fire slaying. That's right. Scratch it, baby. Bunch of free wood laying around. Hard to say no, right? Hard to say no. Put this old Ford to work. Sorry my music never works on YouTube. I don't know why. It's supposed to keep rolling, but it never does. But I always like to have music playing in the background, but it just doesn't continue to play, so... <laughs> I'm bad. Sorry. I don't know why it does that. Alright, we're gonna head over to the saw mail. I think that's plenty to put on the old Ford. We don't want to stress it out. We're gonna run up past the gold mine and then cross that big bridge over there. There goes that window, says Dave. I didn't need it anyway. It's always hot here on Spectacle Island. If there's anything Frosty can't say no to, it's some free firewood. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't know if you're still listening, uh, Mr. Glickman, but that was a beautiful flight from Charleston to Myrtle Beach. It was nice. And I had real weather on because it's been kind of stormy, but but sunny in certain areas. So it was pretty sweet. It was a fun flight. I was in a, uh, what was it? South, Southwestern? Southwestern Airlines? That's an airline, right? Southwestern. Uh, the truck looks plenty stressed. I know, Tyler. It's, <laughs> it's not looking too hot. Oh, yeah, I had real weather on. There was lightning, and but there was also parts where the sun was coming through. It was, not, it was pretty. It was a fun flight. Had it on real time. I did it about, it was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon today I did it. Very pretty flight. All right, so we know how to do this this time. We, we did it wrong the first attempt. So we're just gonna park right here, unstrap it, and go right here and sell it. 
So that 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 crappy wood is not worth much. Fifteen hundred dollars. We only made fifteen hundred dollars on that. But hey, money's money. Free wood laying around. I'm gonna grab it. All right, let's head back to the house. 1,500 more than you had, that's right. Southwest Airlines, that's it, that was it. Yep, I got, I put the whole liveries pack. I got paint jobs for every, any, pretty much any f flight company you can think of, all of them, every single one, better than nothing. Uh, you didn't see my comment on the last stream. Had a lightning strike in front of the station, and I was in the bay. It made me jump out of my chair. Really? Yeah, it was, there was a lot of lightning yesterday. The kids were out playing. I yelled at them. I was like, it's time to come in, guys, because it was you could hear it hitting nearby. I was like, nah, time to come in. You know I want to throw that log in there, don't you? You know it. I can't pass a dirty old log. I get excited. I'm late to the party. Can you explain the series is located? Um, we started with with only one, like no money. We started with no money, and all we had was this pickup truck you're looking at right now. One tractor. And an old truck and trailer. That's it. And I wanted to do it without using any money mod, which I didn't. So, you know. I made a wrong turn somewhere. Where the heck am I? Nope, I made a right. I'm, I'm good. I'm back at the farm. But yeah, it's like a survival series. But we're already to the point where we're living pretty decent. Just saving up for a harvester. All right, so we're going to leave this sitting here for now. And we're going to go get the tractor over here. And we'll drive that back to uh, the farm, get it sprayed down, refilled. And then there's one other field that's a smaller field. Oh, he missed a spot. Dwayne, you missed a spot, dang it. Come on, boy. No better than that. All right, let's cover this patch Dwayne forgot to get. I live right by a lake, and a super bolt hit the levee. Levee. I was sound asleep wearing earplugs, and I just about hit the ceiling. So scared you a little bit, eh? When you cut down the post to get rid of trees, did it get rid of all the trees or just the trees and the, all of them? So take advantage of that pile of nice logs that are sitting right where I'm about to drive by. I made that mistake. Otherwise, I would have chopped all those up and sold them. But once you cut that post down, all those tree trunks that were sitting here disappear. Yeah, that made me pretty upset. Did you try to pick up that tree limb at the house and put it on the truck? Would that get rid of the grassy spot? Tree limb at the house. Grassy spot. Tree limb at the house. I don't know. The house is looking pretty stinking good. Everything is looking good all this, you know. 
It's got a bunch of wood laying around. Oh, and here's that tree we cut down at the end of episode two. I still got to chop those up sometime tonight. All right, let's spray her down. And then I'm going to go plow field number four. I'm going to start plowing it anyway. I'm going to hire somebody is pretty much what I mean. <laughs> I, ain't, I I don't have a mower, Dwayne. See, I got a good excuse. I don't even have a mower, so I can't I can't mow anything. Uh, I don't know. I'll check it out, Tyler. Not sure. I thought I got all my tree limbs. All of the ones marked in red, I think I got them all. I don't think mowing's gonna help us survive, Dwayne. Sand. Yeah, none of these trees are, yeah, those are just regular trees. If these are the ones you're talking about, those are just normal trees. Nothing will happen if I cut those down. I'm gonna leave those for shade. Shade for the sheep when I eventually buy some sheep. Oh, the log. You're talking, I don't know what you're talking about, Tyler. Maybe the dead log by the sign. I don't know, buddy. I don't know which one you mean. There's trees all over the place. All right, let's run over to field number four. We're gonna get that plowed. You know what, Trevor Parks? I just, yeah. I think you're the best one for the job. I'm gonna start on it myself, just to get it started, and then uh, I'll hire you to help out. I gotta figure out how to get into the field. Where's the entrance? We got these dumb fences and bushes blocking everything. Entrance is way down here. There it is. There we go. Got that tarp on the tracker, tractor to keep me from getting sunburned. Mowing other people's gardens is located. Yeah, too bad you can't get paid to mow somebody else's yard, huh? So that's going to take a little while. That's a pretty small field, though, compared to, uh, I think that might be the smallest field that I have. Yeah, look at that, field number four. It's a tie between four and two, but I think four is the smallest out of them all. That one's enormous. That is just ridiculous right there. All right, so we'll let him keep working there. What's up, Steven? How's it going? All right, so next on my list, 
We planted field two already. We sold the eggs. Now we're going to sell crops. So there's crops that are already in silo. So we're going to fire up our big rig, hook up to the trailer. It's got two slots in the trailer so I can sell two different products at a time. Let's hop into this old bad boy. And I did get this repaired and fixed up. And uh, it's looking a lot better than it did. So we spent not much money, to be honest, to get that looking like that. We just repaired it so it's in uh, tip-top shape. All right. All right, so we already got something in the back. We got some wheat which I'm going to dump what I can into the uh, chicken coop because they have eaten a They've had some of it since we fast-forwarded time. And if you remember, it's kind of a pain in the butt getting the hopper over the cell point here, but we'll try. I know that emblem's pretty sweet. When you go back to the farm, turn left in the big grassy spot that had a log laying down that you tried getting earlier. It has three or four big trees surrounded by the driveway gravel. Oh, over there, I see. Okay, behind me, I think is what you're talking about. Get my backing skills in. There it is. Alright, we filled them up. I'm gonna keep my wheat. Because I do have chickens. So wheat is the only crop I'm not gonna sell. So we're gonna dump that back into the silo. Which I think we tried last week. We're not even able to dump it. Dang it. That sucks. All right. Scratch that idea. Let's uh, load up the barley. All right, now we're gonna check our thing here. Where's the best place to sell wheat? We will sell wheat at the Hilltop Windmill. Then barley is gonna go to the port side grain. So Hilltop Windmill and Portside Grains. Which ones? I want to try to do this the right way. Portside Grains. Right over here. And where did I say the other one was? I don't know. But we'll go to Portside Grains to start off. <laughs> All right, let's go back there. Portside Grains paying six sixty eight. And off we go. Sounds good too. Very nice. I don't think we need the tarp on. There's barely anything in the trailer. I doubt any of it's gonna blow. Oh, that stupid stump. 
and I can't cut the stump because I don't have my truck with the pallet. That's the only way you can cut that down. <laughs> Damn, baby. We're gonna sell some barley, then we'll sell some wheat. And I barely have any wheat anyway, so I'll probably just sell it right where we're selling this just to get it out of here. What's up, Zoe Mitchell? by the time we sell everything that's in the silos, we'll have enough for the harvester. Hopefully. Alright, we got 2,000 bucks for that. Now we need to switch to the other side. Looking like a vortex. All right, we got $6,300 for that. So about 10 Gs, we got 35,000 now. We're gonna head back to the house and load up some more. Sorry, I've been AFK. My grandma's super sick right now. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that. That's yeah, not good. I hope everything's okay and hope it's not too bad, whatever's going on. Yeah, we're cruising. About 51. About as fast as she'll go. a hike to get up to the top of the hill here. Amy are going to flip in the water one of these times. Nah, I'm a professional. I ain't gonna fall in no waters. I'm out, Mike. You know better than that. I never wreck. We gotta keep an eye on our fuel too. All right, so here we go. We got oats. We'll put oats in the front end. 
And then in the back end, we'll put some canola. Actually, dang it. I shouldn't have put that in there. That's all right. All right, let's check out where we're going. Uh, canola and... Canola and oats. All right, so oats are going. The best price is 1085, ooh, 1734 over at the milk factory. And then canola best place is the bakery, which I believe both of those are up here. Yeah, bakery's right here. So we'll hit the bakery first, and then we'll go to the soy milk factory. All right. Oh, you gotta be, Dwayne. I know, I know. What's up, Tanner Adams? Nice that field's coming. Got half of it plowed. It's looking pretty right good right now. Very fine job, sir. He's a cooking. Starting to look like a real farmer out here almost. Once we get all those dead crops out of here. All right, so bakery is right here on my right. I just want to double check. We're selling at the bakery. We're selling the canola. Let's make sure we select the rear end of the trailer. We don't want to put the wrong product at the wrong place. All right, show me the money. I'm a little late because I was watching baseball. Sorry, right, mate. Ever say sorry. 4,500 bucks for just that little bit of uh, stuff we had right there. All right, so we're gonna cross the water here. I went the wrong way. Do a little water driving here. The weirdest thing ever, driving through the water. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nope, I thought I saw a gold bar there for a minute. All right, don't don't roll over, truck. Keep it together. Let's move back to the front side and we're gonna sell the oats here at what's the name of this place? Oats, 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 oats. Selling these at the soy milk factory. 
But this ought to be a good chunk of money right here. $11,421 away. That's probably nice. got submerged. I'm thinking this road will take us right back past the bakery, if I had to guess. This kind of brings us back up into town. All right, I haven't went to this place yet. Let's see if there's like a, a gold bar laying around. You never know. Oh. Thought I might get lucky. That's just extra storage if you want park equipment there or whatever. Who wrecked? I didn't even notice that somebody wrecked Dwayne. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm not sure what animals can go here. Could be pigs. No, pigs are at the house. I don't know what, maybe cows? I don't know. Ooh, that house isn't looking too hot. I wonder if there's trees there you gotta cut down too. All kinds of little things. This is like a whole nother farm here. Here we are back at the farm. So we are up to $51,000. All right, so I'm gonna put a sell point right here. We got 51 G's. I think we do have enough to buy the harvester I was wanting to get. It is right there, $51,000. It's a case 4130. So that will be our harvester, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we can also buy it used and get a discount. So that'll cut off 10 G's. Let's see, design, cover. I kind of like it without the cover. Wheel setup, stick to the one it has. I like that right there. All right, let's buy it. So now we gotta have money for a header. So say hello to our new harvester, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't it nice? I don't know, Chase. Not sure. I know it's on PC because that's what I'm on. I don't know if it's on the other ones or not. So let's spray down our new harvester, or used harvester, I guess you could call it. Get it all shiny up. And now we gotta see how much money we gotta pay for a header. Oh yeah, you gotta save money for fuel. You're right. Well, I still got more crops I can sell. I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's hop in it. See how she runs. Check out the lights.
All right. Got a new harvester, guys. Park that over to the side for now until we can get a header. I think once we sell the rest of the crops, we'll be looking pretty good. Pretty nice. Not too shabby. Alright, let's see how much those headers are. So that was a double check. That was a 4130. So we want to look at the prices for the headers for a 4130. That'll be a modded one. There it is. So used, the header is going to cost 368. $36,800. Nice. All right. So like I said, we're going to keep uh, moving here. Got to sell these crops. So is the new and used option a mod? Yeah. Yeah, that's a mod. But it's realistic because you're getting a discount, but you're also getting a vehicle that needs repairs. It's dirty and it's low on fuel. So by the time you do all that, it's like you bought it for new anyway. All right, let's see here. We got sunflowers. And soybeans. Sunflower and soybeans. All right, let's check it out. Sunflower and soybeans. Sunflower. We got 2139. The so 2139. That's the uh, best place to go. That's the Sunflower Oil Factory. That makes sense. And then soybeans. It looks like we got 2160. All right, 2160. That's the best place. And that is the Soy Milk Factory. All right, cool. So th these are both going to the same direction. Let's get on it. got that field plowed look at that by the time we deliver all this it'll probably be all done plowing and then i'll hire somebody to start plowing that nasty field over there <laughs> Coastal trucking here, right on the beach. Driving through the waters, dumbest thing ever. Ugh. That's the biggest thing ruining this map for me. I don't like that. I'm eating peanut M&Ms and drinking a Coke. Sounds pretty good, actually. All right, so we already know soybeans go here. So let's make sure we have the front side selected. Soybeans are in the rear end. All right, so we're gonna tip the back side. Empty the backside. And 
And then we'll head across to the other spot. And, woo, $12,626, baby. Picked up all that wood on the beach before, and it's back. Free wood. Yeah, I think a lot of it respawns. We are at the Sunflower Oil Factory. Switch to the front dump. And this is going to be some pretty good money right here. Should buying $20,000. One hundred and four dollars. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I think that's the most we've made in one selling so far. Twenty G's, baby. Got forty-one thousand bucks. That's enough to get that header and start harvesting our first field, ladies and gentlemen. So episode three, and we're already got our new harvester or used harvester, I guess you'd call it. Rich Frosty. So I'd say, like episode-wise, it's taken us about five, six and a half, about seven hours to get to this point, doing it survivalist style. And you guys could, you know, everybody can do it different ways. I'm sure there's better ways, and there's probably worse ways. This is the way I chose to do it. It took us about to this point now to finally get our own harvester, which is pretty cool. Starting to learn my way around this map already. It's not too bad. Oh, how's that uh, field doing over there? Is he all done? He's still turning around. Look at him go. He's even getting the corners and everything. He ain't messing around up there. All right, so he's almost done plowing. Oh, there's a fence there. We're gonna shut the big truck down for now. We could deliver the rest, but I wanna mix it up a little bit. Lights off. Hop out of there, and we are going to buy that new header. All right, so it's right over here. We got the money. Let's get it, man. Right there, right there, baby. For the 4130. And we're going to buy it used. 
for 36 8. Right, let's get her sprayed down. And we get to do some harvesting, guys. Uh, fuel's low, but we're going to take a break with the truck anyway. I am going to fill this up with fuel, because this thing is going to be running. I'm going to be doing that entire field over there, so. All right, load her up. Take my money. Fuel's not too bad, price-wise, anyway. <clears throat> so, 434 bucks to fill her up. And we'll probably always... We'll probably keep this harvester for a long time, because it's perfect. Even with the header... I can drive it from point A to point B. So it's quite nice. They lock it. All right, get that thing lowered. Oop, I accidentally shut it down. And we are harvesting our own field for the first time. I must say, there's something exciting about it. This field used to look a mess. And now it's starting to come back to life. Pretty cool. I have to get some music on. Driving me nuts. My music at, dang it. How the heck does it not keep just playing? I don't understand. Keep playing. Big field, huh? And the good thing is, from this point on, everything we harvest is pretty much going to get sold. <laughs> so from here on out, it's money, baby. So once this harvester fills up, load her up, go sell it. I would too. Harvesting's relaxing. That'll put you right to sleep. I always like to just harvest the perimeter, keep the pipe towards the outside for when you need to uh, pipe out the product into a truck. That's just how I do it.
So he's probably about done plowing. I'm going to switch him over to another field. Then I'm going to get the planter on field four that just got plowed. And then, you know, that'll be three. That'll be this field and two other the field across from us. And field four will be uh, fully utilized fields. I think the next thing I'll want to invest in is something to fertilize the field with, to spray the fields down and get a better yield so we make more money when we harvest. Still doing the multiplayer located or are you back to playing a bunch of single player or what have you been doing because i know a lot of people have been enjoying the multiplayer on the beta for a truck simulator didn't know if you were still doing it that way or back to single player i know you like your mods so probably single player i had to guess All right, I wonder if I hire a worker. I'm going to go straighten this edge down here, and then I'm going to hire a worker. Played the beta with Rudus 389, but then back because of my mods. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's what's keeping me away from it. I don't want to mess. I like all my mods. <laughs> Trying to straighten this out so a hired worker can uh, work on it while I get some other stuff done here. I uninstalled TMP as I think once the beta is official, I'll probably never play TMP again. I'll just do the actual built-in multiplayer. I don't know if the harvester is going to be able to, with a hired worker, make that turn. Probably not, but we're going to hire someone anyway. Fire slaying, you look like you need to do something. There you go. Take it away, Daddy. Take it away. And all of a sudden, the swath, or not the swath, but it's starting to shoot straw. It wasn't doing that for me. Though it does it when you hire a worker, but it doesn't do it when you do it yourself. All right, so we'll let him get working there. This field is completed and looks just lovely. going to take this over to the field next door. Let's check the fuel on this tractor. Oh, we're good. Still got a full full tank. Oh, this field's huge. All right, 
Get her done, I guess. We'll go away from us uh, beside the fence line here. And that is going to take forever to do. So, Jeremy, yeah, you can do this. You're going to be here the rest of the stream plowing this field. <laughs> Have fun, buddy. Look how look a lot look how huge that field is. That is gonna take forever. All right, so we'll let him enjoy all that fun. All right, so we got that going on. Let's let's get the planter hooked up again and plant field number four. That tractor's calling my name, says Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, that field's big. I think that's the biggest field out. No, there's field six is the biggest field. We haven't even touched field six yet. All right, let's get this stuff all ready to go here. Pop her off with fuel, seven bucks. And we're going to top off the seeds here. Not 315 bucks for that. All right, let's run down to field number four. And so I got canola planted soybean let's just mix it up let's do uh we'll do some wheat can you mine for gold or just fine you can only find it yeah you can only find like gold bars laying around randomly i think somebody said there's like 25 of them i think something like that He already made a round. He already went down and back. Jeez. Jeremy, you are... You know what? You're a good worker. I don't care what everybody else says about you. I think you're a good worker. All right. So just like last time, I'm going to do a perimeter plant and then hire a worker to do the rest. Actually, I might not even need to hire a worker. This field looks pretty darn good. <clears throat> Better than Dwayne? <laughs> well, look at that. I was just notified. Well, Captain, you know what? You're just in time. You can do some planting. Hop in there, big fella. All right, so Gatton's going to plant this entire field. Welcome to the show. That's what you get for showing up late. You got you to gotta plant that entire field. Uh, Jeremy, he's going to be busy. He's done two swipes. He's got to plow that whole field there. <laughs> so let's do a little overview of what's going on here. Uh, we're harvesting this field at the moment. That's our first harvest ever. We have planted this field with canola. This field is being planted with wheat as we speak. This field is being plowed because it's withered. Number five, number six are withered. We haven't even touched those yet. Six is just enormous. Field's massive. All right, so let's see how full. Oh, we're only at 40% with the harvester. So while that's going on, we'll let all these guys work. And I... I'm gonna keep uh, selling some old crappy wood, get it off my property. I'm sick of all this wood. Stay on there, boy. <laughs> I 
There we go. Look at all this action going on here. People helping all over the place. Excellent. I'll get her done. All right. What's up, David McCormick? I'm going to hook up to my trailer, too. I got a little flatbed trailer. Can load some wood up on that and get double the money when we go to the sawmill. Poor old truck. Just had a horrible scare. Uh-oh. What happened, David? A horrible scare. It's not good. You're not pregnant, are you? Because that, that would be scary. I hope, I hope you're not pregnant. I got a full tank of gas, Dwayne. I'm at a full tank, man. My dad and I, my brother was sitting out on the front porch and we was hearing these weird noises. Then all of a sudden a tree fell down, almost hit my dad's 85 pickup truck. The tree just randomly fell, huh? Yeah, that would be a little scary, especially if you're right next to it when it happened. I reckon I'd be a little scared myself. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> oh... I bet you the stream will be over. That field still won't be done. All right, let's keep throwing these ugly logs in here. It's up FS Miner. What's going on, man? Yeah, we're messing around on that Spectacle Island map here. It's kind of getting rid of some all this ugly wood while everything else is going on. I got someone plowing, someone harvesting, someone planting. We're getting there. It's episode three of our little survival series. How you doing there, Drabber? Thanks for uh, tuning in. I imagine it's, uh, what? Morning? Early morning on your end of the other side of the lake? <laughs> my dad started to cry and said, oh no, my truck. But is, is it like a nice fancy uh, 85 pickup? Like mint condition, I'm guessing? Oh yeah, we, we know FS Miner. Yeah, we've been noticing it respawn. You don't get a whole lot of money for it. But uh, we're doing like a survival series, so any amount of money we get is, we'll take it. So anytime I drive by it, I just throw it on the truck here and we go sell it at the sawmill. What's up, Mr. Betts? What the crap? You're driving in water, says Gatton. I know. That's just the way the modder made the map, that's all. 
yeah, the next save game, that it all reappears. Oh, it's a beater, but he just loves it. Yep, that makes sense. I don't know if everybody notices this, but uh, FS Miner in the chat is one of my favorite guys out there. He's the whole reason I got into uh, TCBO mining map and all the different construction mods I use. He, he's the guy that got me into it, guys. So all those streams on Facebook where we do the mining, you can thank, you can thank that guy right there in the chat, FS Miner. Uh, he's a pretty awesome guy. So shout out to FS Miner. He provides lots of cool stuff. He does a lot of edits. He makes his own mods. He helps other modders with their maps and different mods that get transferred from, you know, FS17 or even older. If he's able to swap it over, he'll figure out how to do it and make it look nice. So yeah, he's a pretty, pretty good guy. All right, switch over to the truck. We're gonna sell all this garbage. Like I said, not much money, 2,100 bucks, but we'll take it, right? It's just dead wood laying around, free money for us. So he's the reason why you have 400 mods on four mod. <laughs> yeah, he's part of the reason my, uh, He's the reason I, I need a lot of memory. Yep. Yeah, I think on TCBO mining map I use... I tried to cut down a little bit because of the guys that do the... You know, everybody that mines with me. I cut it down to like 170. I think we're in like the 170 mods range. <laughs> but that's the thing. Those production maps, like... Just... I don't say you get carried away, but you get, uh, you see things that you're like, ooh, that would be fun to try to use on the map, or hey, that might come in handy. So you just download it and you make, you know, you put it in your mod folder. You might not ever use it, but there might be that time where like, oh, I remember that one thing I downloaded. Let's try to use that. <laughs> yeah, you, but. Yeah, but you help. That's what I meant, FS Miner. I know you didn't make TCBO, but you definitely helped out a lot with it. And you make the, the awesome videos with the different mods to use on those maps. So you're appreciated, at least by me you are. And I know Poto and Raya and Coopstream, those are the guys I do a lot of the mining with. And they, they feel the same way. They love all your stuff. Poto loves the uh, Volvo excavator. He uses it all the time. He loves it. And for anybody, I know a lot of you that watch me regularly like the production maps and the mining. For those of you that do like mining maps, go check out FS Miner. All you got to do is, I think you could just click on his name. It'll take you to his page. But if not, just search FS Miner, YouTube. All his videos usually have links for any equipment he's using that's like new equipment that he's edited or made himself. Maps he uses. He'll put the link to the author and he puts all kinds of links that'll help it make, it'll make it easy for you to find new stuff to use for, uh, production maps. So definitely go check him out on YouTube. All right, let's shut this down. We're going to disconnect the trailer. Enough dead wood deliveries for me. All right, and Helper B has nearly a full harvester, so we're going to go get him emptied out. All right, let's go grab the big trip. Poto, I think I sleeps with that Volvo. Yeah, he likes using that on the construction stuff. 
Uh, the marble rocks at TCBO is my creation. I love the whole marble area, too. Different. I like it. I think the biggest reason I love TCBO is because it's not enormous. I, I'm not a huge... I don't like massive maps. I like, like, average size maps where you can remember where everything's at. And you're not having to constantly check the map to remember where the heck you're going. So TCBO is like perfect, perfect size. It's got everything you're looking for when it comes to uh, mining, excavating, all that cool stuff. I just leave this truck sitting right here so that guy can keep doing his thing. That field's just about finished. Let's check out what's going on over here. Uh, Jeremy's having a blast. He's got a long way to go. <laughs> Poor Jeremy. <laughs> Uh, but I'm thinking about waiting on getting the new one when it comes out, says Dwayne. I like most the uh, Yukon River. Yeah, that's that's another one of those. And that, that, that one's pretty massive, isn't it? Or no, I'm, yeah, I think that's a pretty big one. Isn't Yukon River huge? Or am I thinking of a different map? But yeah, Jeremy's kicking butt right here, huh? I'm going to dismiss this worker, do it myself. Ain't got much left to do. Save a few bucks by doing it on my own. What's up, mouse? Uh, I will be finished with harvesting before he is done plowing. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a while plowing. Huge is the right word. Okay, so that is the big one, Yukon. Late night farming? Yeah, mouse. I got fired for doing a good job, says Gat, and you did a great job. I just need to save some money on this survival series here. I got too many workers taking the money right out of my bank account. There we go. Getting her done. No, you did an excellent job, Gatton. You didn't miss any spots. It's beautiful. What's up, Donald Ferguson? What's going on, driver? Just doing a little farming here on Spectacle Island. We're actually getting a lot of stuff done tonight. More than I thought was going to get done. 
We bought a new, we bought a used harvester and header. We have not used a money mod at all on this map. We've done everything from scratch, survival series. We're on episode three, and we have been moving right along here. There's our last swipe. See how much, oh yeah. We're doing good. We're just gonna fold this up. Definitely not gonna plant that field tonight because uh, it's nowhere near yet being done plowed. So we'll take this back, top off the seeds in the uh, planter, sprayer down, park it. That'll be it for planting. Oh yeah, Donald, I, I, I stream it at, uh, probably at least two times a week. I've been doing this, this is the third episode of this series on YouTube and then I do it usually once or twice a week on Facebook. I love farm sim. fill that up 732 bucks for the seeds Oop. and we didn't even barely burn any fuel so we're not going to worry about that just go get this parked and I think our harvester is all done And I do want to chop up those logs there from episode two. We'll get those chopped up on a pallet and sold firewood. So we'll do that here in a little bit. Spray her down, clean her up, and back her in. I forgot I had like a three quarters can full of ginger ale lemonade sitting next to me. Been sitting here the whole time, dang it. I had to back her in. Lights off. Cheddar dying. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's switch back over here. I'm gonna take this over as well. Once he finishes this little swipe here. sure you mentioned this but what map is this spectacle island and you can get it right from your main menu of the game it's in the mod hub i'm not 100 percent sure if it's on console i don't i don't play console so i don't pay attention to all that but uh it works on pc because that's what i'm doing it on air driver
almost done bringing in the harvest. Our first harvest finally happening here on episode three of the survival series. Pretty cool. And then we'll be able to sell all these soybeans. No problem, Donald. It is on console. Thank you, Daniel. Now I know when somebody else asks, I'll know the answer. I figured it was because it had like the gold bars and stuff. But I wasn't 100% sure, so thank you for clarifying that. Appreciate you. All right, how full are we? Sitting at... Oh, we're only at 32%. That ain't bad. Get into the frosty drone. There you go. Little frosty drone action for you. Yeah, tonight on Facebook, we'll probably be doing American Truck Simulator 8 p.m. Eastern. And then Tuesday, I think I'm going to try to do Flight Simulator. I haven't done that in quite a while. And I've been itching to do some flying, so... Probably play some Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 on Tuesday. Going my speed. What's that supposed to mean, Blaine, huh? Saying I'm slow, huh? I don't drive slow. I put the hammer down when I play ATS. <laughs> What's up, Kale Hansen? How's it going? Ugh, almost done. That's right, I go a little faster. Just been building baby stuff. We had our baby shower yesterday. Nice. So when's the uh, official due date? Have a good one, Eddie. Thanks for joining as always. July 21st, baby boy. Ah, so you even know it's a boy. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. Dwayne, going to, going 
two miles per hour faster down a hill doesn't count. Hey, watch it. All right, we're going to go hit these patches that were missed by the uh, hired worker. Got a big old strip across here we got to get. <clears throat> That'll be it for this field. Be our first harvest in that special. Parker right there. We're going to load this up and sell it. So that didn't even fill up the whole truck. <laughs> that gave us a little under 10,000 liters of soybean, that whole field. So yeah, I definitely want to invest in a fertilizer sprayer for our next like big purchase. That way we can get a better yield when we do harvest. Otherwise, we're not making as much money as we could be making, you know what I'm saying? right over here for the moment shut her down we're gonna go run the harvester back up to the uh, farm here got dirty. All right, we need to find a new parking place for our Harvesta. We'll park it way down here. There we go. All 
All right, so next thing I want to do is grab my uh, pallet on the pickup and chop these up real quick. That won't take long at all. Buy another one of those firewood pallets. We're going to head back into our pickup truck. Let's throw this in the back. All right. I think I already cut the logs into pieces. All we gotta do is chop them with the ax. And slam, bam, baby. So all those need to cut smaller. Putting that old husk of to work, baby. I only need to cut this in half, and that'll be it. And we'll chop it all up. All right, we got our axe out. Time to be the wood chopping son of a biscuit licker. Come on. Oh, you're going to be new parents, too. That's even more exciting. I didn't know if you already had kids or not. Yeah, that's going to be sweet. It's, it's It'll change your life. If you have kids, it's a whole nother ball game in a good way. I'm not trying to scare you. <laughs> All right, we just made 4825 bucks on that uh, pallet of wood. That It wasn't full, but... We were able to sell it there. Not too shabby. All right, we're going to leave our pickup truck sitting right here. And we'll hop into the big rig. Uh, let's see here. Got soybeans. Let's see what place will sell the best. We got 1423 at the cargo ship. 2160 at the soy milk factory. The soy milk factory it is, baby. We already know where that is. We've been there a couple times tonight.
Jeremy is, wow. Jeremy is about halfway done. <laughs> like I said, he ain't gonna get it done by the time I'm ready to be done farming. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He's hanging in there though. in that weird water crossway. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. There we go. Almost lost it. See how much we might might. 19,867 dollars. Not too shabby, laddie. <laughs> Not too bad at all. Not bad at all. That brings our grand total. We got $27,000 now after selling $20,000 worth of soybean. So yeah, if we would have had that field fertilized, we would have made a lot more. That's all right. Gotta start somewhere, right? Trucks are screaming. Well, Jeremy, I do appreciate your help, but you ain't gonna get it done before I'm done. But you did great. We'll have someone, uh, return to that next time on episode four. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna park this up, spray her down. I'm gonna look how much fertilizers are because that is the next thing I wanna get is like a sprayer. I'd like to get a good size sprayer, but I have a feeling that's gonna be a little pricey, but we'll see what it says. And we do still have other crops we can sell in the future, so. Oh yeah, when you hire someone, then, then, yeah. Dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty.
Big Rigs Park trailers out here ready for next time. Let's go check the menu out here. All right, so I'm thinking, <laughs> like, I'd love to get one of these, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I do have this, this mod. That actually might be the one I get. It's a homemade lizard right from the mod hub. And that a cute little sprayer. Isn't that nice? And let's see how much it is used. 30700 bucks. So we'll be able to buy that next time easily. Yep. That'll work. Sweet. All right, so yeah. That'll probably do it. We do have two fields planted. So on episode... What episode's that? Yeah, episode four, you're going to see... Time's going to go forward to get those two fields planted ready for harvest. And then we'll have somebody take over finishing plowing that massive field that Jeremy is on right now. This one. <laughs> we'll have somebody finish that. But he did great. Look at that. That is a big field. Holy cow. So he'll keep working there. And we'll sell all the crops that are left in the silo. That'll give us enough money. We'll get that sprayer. And we'll be able to make a lot more money on harvesting, having a good yield on what we plant. All right. But that's probably going to do it for the late night show. That was a good two and a half hours here on Spectacle Island, episode three of the survival series. You can't leave until it's all done. Oh, he sure can, because I'm out of here. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. <laughs> Actually, you know what, Jeremy? You did so good. You need to stop. Get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. I'll take it from here, buddy. You just don't worry. But I'll even spray it down for you so it's clean for next time. The thing is a filthy mess. But like I said, most likely we're going to be doing some American Truck Simulator at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight on Facebook. So I'll catch you guys over there. And possibly, probably, we'll be back with another late night show. Um, not sure what it'll be yet. No idea. Depends what kind of mood I'm in, to be honest. <laughs> All right, guys. I got in quarter. Thank you so much for stopping in. Mr. Turner, Dwayne Baker, Kale Hansen, Josh Stearman, Daniel Gannon, Donald Ferguson, and anybody else that's still listening or watching, uh, thank you so much, guys. If you haven't yet, hit that like button. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed, uh, I stream, li usually it's live streams here. I like to do live streams. Um, you can catch me at least four to five times a week here on YouTube. If you want to see me even more, you can head over to Facebook and follow over there. Over there, I do six days a week, 8 p.m. Eastern on Facebook, and usually around 11 p.m. or midnight here on YouTube. So, hope you guys enjoyed the show. I had quite a good time, and uh, we got a lot of work done. I think we did pretty darn good. What do you say, eh? Not too shabby. All right. All right, guys, have a great one. Amber Walker, Located, Thomas Roger, everybody. Have a splendid evening, all right? Or morning or night, depending on where you live or what part of the world you're in. It's going to do it for old Frousty. See you later. Peace.